Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolke, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the unbinds that a bunch of dragons just got. Kind of go over them, see what they do, give my thoughts about them. I'm very curious to see what a bunch of these do. I haven't actually looked up to see what they do, so... Gonna be figuring it out on the fly. I'm going to assume they're going to be kind of similar to the last dragons, but may as well see what kind of boosts that they get and stuff like that. But that's going to be today's video. I hope you do like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps the channel a whole bunch, keeps me motivated to keep making videos. And let me tell you, I am extremely burnt out on everything, but I keep making stuff because you guys like it and watch. So I thank you guys. Um, comment, tell me how you feel about these dragons. Do you like the direction that they're going with the Unbounds? Is there a specific type of dragon that you're more looking forward to to see what they do? Go ahead, tell me what you feel about that. And you can subscribe to me if you want more videos featuring me. Okay, so let's see. The eligible dragons this time are Cerberus, Leviathan, Gerudo, Cupid, and Jethonius. So basically like the second, the second batch? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Cerberus was the next... Um, flame Dragon. So does that mean she's gonna replace Agni like she did when she released? So this is all the same. Uh, just to be sure. Yep, still the same. Flame Strength plus 65% and Flame Surge of Strength 1 if the user is attuned to Flame. Grant the user the Surge of, uh, surge of Strength effect if the start of quest for 180 seconds. During a surge of strength, the user's strength is increased to 30%. So that makes it 90%, huh? 95%. So yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. And just like she did when she released, kind of immediately power crept Agni, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But, you know, is what it is on that case. Um, yeah, perfectly fine. I always like Cerberus, so I'm glad to see her return back. I'm pretty sure I have like five different versions of Cerberus. I think I'm one of the only people who never burns their five dragons and just keeps stacking them and stacking them and stacking them until it doesn't make sense anymore. So I already have like three pairs of her at Unbound 4. Uh, next, speaking of uh, an unnecessary amount of dudes, I'm pretty sure Leviathan for me, I have fully done four stacks of Leviathans if I ever feel like using that many Leviathans. Uh, this is, yeah, he gives Bog, which should be nice. Strength 65%, Water Strength, uh, Surge of Strength 1, so that's 30%, so that makes him a 95% Dragon. Not bad at all, to be honest. Um, pretty good. I know Leviathan is, I'm pretty sure, still used for certain dragons. Not certain dragons, for certain adventures in not the ones being controlled. Just because he's a really nice uh, big boost of strength. And sometimes you just need that on a unit. Sometimes you don't need to have the most greatest effect in the world. Sometimes it's enough to just be a very strong dragon. So it looks like he'll be able to help some of those. I kind of always liked Leviathan because he does have a very nice bog effect. He's always been a very big, strong dragon. So he just continues to be that in general, a very big, strong dragon. Let's see, Garuda. Um, wind, 65%. Surge of Strength, 4. <laughs> uh, if the user is attuned to wind, give him 60%. Okay, she got the gene effect. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if... So, Garuda would basically be used for any supporters on Win, like Bacon Priestra, Priestess and um, Lowen. So, what you're just going to end up getting, unless they're, they're, I don't think they're really like a. Yeah, I think that's basically it as far as I'm concerned. But basically, any unit that's really more here for support will just now get insanely buffed for the first 180 seconds, which is actually a pretty nice effect, to be honest. <laughs> You don't think about it when you're thinking, like, why do I want my supports to have just a buttload of attack? But it does help for a little bit there at the beginning. So that's very nice. I like this buff to Garuda. That makes her just that much better, and I'm all here for it. Uh, and Because, again, this is really good effect, especially if, if you're speed clearing or something. Just 65% HP and 60%. If you can finish it within 180 seconds and you don't care about losing it or something, extremely good. Cupid, this one I'm going to be interested in because there's not a lot of good light dragons in general. So let's see what Cupid does. Strength 65%, Surge of Strength 1, buffs to 30%, so that's 95%. Not bad, obviously, like the others. But for light dragons, I think that's going to work out pretty damn well. I think that makes him the strongest non 
because let's see, Gene was 60% when she got that. And now with this, he's at 95%. There's just not not a lot of good options for light dragons, if I'm being 100% honest. So I think for this brief moment, Cupid might be one of the strongest for if you do not have any of the limited, such as like Galathor or Reborn uh, Gene. And if you're using the Hillity content, I'm pretty sure um, what's his nuts doesn't work there anyway, so you wouldn't care. Thor. Yeah, Thor doesn't work in the Hillity at all. So can't use him there. But still. Uh, this is gonna be and Cupid. I think, from what I remember, has a pretty fast attack, so using that with the prince might actually be pretty nice. I still use Cupid from time to time because his attack is just insanely fast. So I'm actually kind of curious to see how crazy that will get now. So I'll gladly check that out when the time comes. And we got Chthonius. Uh, he is when the users attune to Shadow, increase their strength by sixty percent. And a further 10% for the remainder of the quest upon shapeshifting in the uh, twice per quest. So that is 80% if you do it right. If the user is attuned to shadow, grant the user surge of strength, and that's 30%. So let's see, if you do two shapeshifts, you go to 80%, 90, 100%, 110% after shapeshifting. It's not bad. The only problem is, is that you do need to shapeshift. <laughs> I actually feel like because of the shapeshift effect, they probably could have um, given them just a slight more boost. Yeah, I think a little bit more of a boost would make a lot of sense for him. Not that he's bad, it's just that I feel like, especially for Shadow, he could have used just a little bit more. Hmm. I'm not 100% confident to say on this. I think he'll end up being okay. But he kind of... Yeah, he ended up being okay. It's dumb for me to be like, oh no, the, the part where he has to shapeshift makes him worse. No, it makes him as good as the rest that give him 90. It's still 90% <laughs> strength. Still pretty good for the first 880 seconds. And again, if you're someone with not a lot of options, it's a solid ass option for sure. So yeah, those are the, the current patch of them. Pretty basic ones, but to be fair, these are still pretty basic dragons. Like, we're still in, like, the, the true case of how crazy these are going to be is when they introduce the skill dragons, because the skill dragons are still pretty good in my mind. Uh, maybe not as good as what I remember them as. But if they give, like, the... Yeah, I don't know what they would give the skill dragons, to be honest. Because I think they would just give them more strength, but they already have a lot of, like, boost to everything else. So yeah, all right, and that's it for uh, this video. Thank you very much for um, watching it. Everyone's waking up in the house, so I have to end the video now, but I think these are pretty solid. I'm going to be more curious, because they're so basic dragons, I don't mind that their boost is so basic, because that's, that's what they are. <laughs> they're basic dragons. Once we get into some of the more interesting dragons who actually need a little bit more buffs to them we'll see what they do but that's the end of today's video everyone i hope you liked it have a good day have a good night and i'll see you guys next time bye